But when I look at the green line, the thing which I'm really looking for and I'm trying to understand is what's the movement in this line. So see here, what I can see is this line kind of goes down and then up and then 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 down and then up. Now, what does that tell me? So I'm just going to kind of talk through. So this is in a category whereby what happens is if you think about, if I come back to sales rank again, you've got the number one best selling product and then you've got like the millionth best selling product. And when you kind of get higher up the categories, these products, you know, maybe they might be like 100,000, they generally don't sell as much. But it might be that, you know, if they sell once a month, then one of those products would, you know, she say sell, and then that would now come under this one, and then maybe halfway through the month this one sells, and that one moves under. So what, what you're seeing is that these products move around. Unless all of a sudden, you know, it starts selling a lot, then it will start moving down, i.e. it will become closer to one. And the reason why I talk about that is you can see this part of the line going up here. Now, if I make it a little bit easier and use a snippet tool, and I can draw on it. So this little part of the line here, if I get a red pen going up, that is just where that, you know, other products are selling. And this is our product, by the way. Other products are selling and moving down, and our product slowly moving up in the sales rank, not really doing anything. And then all of a sudden, this product sells, bang, it drops down. So we can see that drop here. So for me, I would look at this and say, I can see one sale. And then we can see that the same process again. It goes up and up and up and up, and then it goes down again. So I can see another sale. And then it goes up and up and up and up and up, and then it drops down again. And I can see another sale. And then it goes up and up and up, and then down again, and another sale. And then finally up, 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 and then down again. So what I'm looking at, and people talk about this, is called counting the drops on Keeper. So you're saying, here, it's slowly moved up, 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 and then it's sold, bang. And then it's moved up, 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 again, sold. And then up, 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 again, sold. So what I'm seeing is I'm seeing that this is sold one, two, three, four, five times. Now, there are gonna be lots of software tools, lots of things which are giving you information, and when you look at um, the higher ranks and I'll show you in a minute those tools are very useful but when you're looking at much lower sales like and you can see these drops these keeper drops are really useful because they can give you a very very good indication of what it's selling at and over time so here we've just seen so that this has got five drops so for me I would say this product has sold five times in that 90 day period so quite simply what you're gonna do you're gonna get your calculator up and you're gonna do 90 divided by 5 and you're going to say it's going to sell one time every 18 days on average. So if I was going to buy this product, I would estimate that it's going to sell once per 18 days, and that's how I do my sums. So I would go from there. And so advance, how to count sales and keep a graph and use this to work in your estimated, and also to think about your competition. So a lot of questions people kind of think about is, we've talked about, if I get back to the Slack, counting these drops. So for me, when you can see those drops, I'm really interested in that. I can get a very good feel. But also what I can do is when I'm looking at, oh, when I come back in, if I come back to here, and if I just go back to three months, for example, when I'm looking at this, I'm like, there's just too much. You know, I can't count those drops. And even if I wanted to, it would be irrelevant because, hey, one drop here at sales rank 8,000 doesn't mean one sale. It means like, 20 sales so it's not worth dropping it's when you see that really nice kind of and I'm gonna please excuse my paint it's when you see that really nice kind of up 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 let me get a thick line up 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 drop up 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 drop up 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 drop up 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 drop it's that kind of curve where it kind of curves drop when you see that yes you can count them but when you're seeing not obviously not backwards that's when you're going to say, actually, that's going to be, I can't use that method. It's much for the, it's for the much higher ranks. But for me, is what I'm looking at is when I see these, I might take a guess. You know, say, for example, if we're looking at this VTech product, and we talked about, if I zoom in on this kind of period. Oh, can I get that again? When I looked at this and say, look, I can't use the, I, when I hover over, if you have a look here, by the way, where the mouse is, if I hover over the sales rank, I can see it says 90 day average data, 13,539. That's right here, by the way, and I'll do it one more time. 
13,539. And if you want to know, I'll just share it with you quickly. The buy box one does the same thing. Hover over the buy box, it shows you in exactly the same location the buy box price over the last 90 days. So you don't have to go into the extra data tab. So for you is buy box data, buy box average price over the last 90 days, £10.57. And again, if you want to know, just up here, if you look there, £10.57, really useful to know. But when we talked about this product whereby the price has now gone up and Amazon's come off the listing and we're probably going to be selling it for like £25, I can't be using the 90 day average because that 90 average is going to include all this sales rank. I need to kind of get a feel for here. So I'm going to say, look, I'm saying it's going to be about 20000 So what I might do is I might just come in, load up my Jungle Scout, which is what I use sometimes just to help me out, and I'll just literally jump in 20000 this is literally Jungle Scout Estimator. It's a free tool, United Kingdom. I'm just going to say, look, this is Toys and Games. And the reason is I'm just trying to get a feel. Calculate sales. And it's saying now it's selling 36. So right now we're selling 200 because the sales rank's great. But actually when we start going up to this rank, 20,000, it's saying 36. Now I think it might sell a bit more than that, but that change from 2,000, 200 a month to 36 and then also aware that if it, this product was on like a three for two and everyone else has got this deal because it's at Argos I might go whoa actually I'm not going to buy that anymore because that's a massive change in the sales volume you know at, at 200 a month I'd be happy with that but at 36 a month that's going to be dead that's not selling what I think it is so for me it's just using tools like Jungle Scout will make a big difference. I hope you found this really useful, really informative. Um, please, 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 if you like it, give me a big like. I love like, or give me a love heart. Honestly, love love hearts. Um, and also drop some comments. Drop comments down below. Even if you just liked it, hey Tom, love this. Thank you so much. Um, or if you've got questions, please let me know. Drop them down the bottom. So, for me, Thomas Parkinson, Fast Track FBA. Thank you very much.